Hi everybody, it's February 5, 2018. The World Health Organization has never included homeschooling as a risk for child abuse and or neglect. Never. Homeschooling does not appear as a risk. The Commission to Eliminate Child Abuse and Neglect Fatalities, 2016, homeschooling is not a risk of any kind of child abuse or neglect. The APA, the American Psychological Association, Understanding and Preventing Child Abuse and Neglect, homeschooling, not a risk. But the LA Times and California legislators, they see homeschooling, there is a pattern of disturbing child abuse and neglect. The Turpin child abuse story, California is using this as a pretext to pass regulations or legislation which will make home schooling parents presumptive abusers and they are considering measures to get government agents to intrude upon your privacy come into your homes one of those measures they are considering involuntary quarterly home visits and interviews with child protective services and other government agencies child protective services those workers lie, fabricate child abuse, snatch the child from their parents, take them out of their home, put them under the custody of Child Protective Services. For every child CPS gets, they get more money. We know this. And involuntary quarterly home visits by CPS workers, simply because you are homeschooling your children, I guarantee that certainly some, if not many, of those children will be snatched from their parents because these workers have been known to fabricate child abuse or they look for any reason to take that child into the custody of CPS. This article in the LA Times is so outrageous, I don't have children as I'm reading this, I am, it, it's a screaming lie. And any adult reading this article, if it is not hitting them in the face that they are using homeschooling as a pretext, this Turpin child abuse case as a pretext to pass this legislation to get more government control, because we all know homeschooled children are a threat to government authority. Government needs to pull them under their control. And that is the reason for this, if it's not hitting people in the face. If the pretext it doesn't hit them in the face, um, then they've been programmed by mainstream media and government officials. That's all I can say. Uh, and the fact is, is that child abuse and neglect parenting has been a taboo subject my entire life. You can't talk about parenting. And parents who abuse their children, well, they turn around and blame the child. And we get an awful lot of professionals who make money off of that child. So they continue that line. It's remarkable that this continues to go on. Remarkable that Americans really never address the root causes of any of the problems within this society. We, it, we should be shining the light on parenting here, not homeschooling. So we should be shining the light on these very sick adults who do abuse physically, emotionally, sexually, who neglect, and, well, who kill children. 
But no, we're going to go to the homeschool parents because these two sick individuals who had uh, imprisoned, chained, tortured their 13 kids, they had registered them as homeschooled. So that's the problem. And this, oh my God, this article here, particularly severe abuse cases that involve school-age children, also tend to involve homeschooling. Now, if you're going to imprison your child, chain them up, and not let them out of the house ever, you clearly have to homeschool them, right? Because if they're not showing up, but enrolled in public school and they're just not showing up, then eventually that's going to catch on. But public school, private school, Catholic school children get abused all of the time. And I am going to show you just some statistics that let you see how the LA Times can actually publish a story like this and get away with it because these statistics are so skewed. Like this, uh, the LA Times cites this 2014 study of child torture conducted by Barbara Knox, a pediatrician at the University of Wisconsin. She found that 47% of school-aged victims had been withdrawn from school for homeschooling and an additional 29% had never been enrolled, and I have no clue, though admittedly my research was cursory, but I did come across enough studies, statistics, to question that percentage. And we all know we've got these useless eaters out there that accept government funding to conduct studies for the publishing of results that the government wants. Disturbing details repeated over and over and over again of homeschooled children being horribly abused. And you know what? The LA Times, they're on it. They keep a database of homeschool abuse. Really? You don't keep a database of abuse child abuse. You keep a database of home school abuse. And that database, I'll link below to everything. You, you have to do research on every case that the LA Times is, is publishing here. But homeschooling is not the problem. The problem is the sick adults who are abusing these children. So 19 children were starved and tortured and imprisoned by their father. Uh, a six-year-old boy was starved and imprisoned and tortured by his father and stepmother. Sixteen children, probably many more, were subjected to slavery, ed educational neglect, and threats of physical violence and starvation by members of a new religious movement known as the Malcolm Ranch, run by a minister, John Malcolm. The thirteen children of the Turpins and more and more and more and there's a lot of them and this is the homeschool abuse database what about all of the children who get abused in homes and then sent to public school even though we have professionals who are mandated to report suspected child abuse and neglect cases only five percent only 5% of children who have been abused and neglected get reported by those professionals. So 95% go unreported. And a huge number of them are in public schools. So, yes, this article is absolutely outrageous. How could such things happen? According to the New York Times, it happens because few states oblige homeschooled children to have any contact with mandatory reporters. Really, doctors are mandatory reporters. So the LA Times is 
suggesting that homeschool children, their parents just never take them to, to the doctor. Um, California is one of 15 states that ask homeschool parents to register with the state. It's a quick bureaucratic process that involves simple paperwork. Can you not see the LA Times as promoting government intrusion into the homes of those children who are being homeschooled? I mean, it's clear to me uh, 11 states don't require documentation at all. This laissez-faire attitude is a gift to abusive parents. I will tell you what the gift is to abusive parents. The fact that Americans have been programmed to never hold anybody accountable and parents who abuse children turn around and blame that child and they get away with it. What has what has created this laissez-faire attitude is shaming truth tellers. Um, so the laissez-faire attitude, parents who homeschool your children, you can isolate those children and keep their abuse like their children hidden away for years. That's what you do, homeschool children. You are now the presumptive abuser. Starvation deaths are almost non-existent among children enrolled in school. Wow. I'd like to know where they got that fact from. But homeschool parents uh, do not need to submit academic assessments or show evidence that they are educating their children. There is no process to ensure that their children are involved in the community. Nothing to ensure that they have any contact with anyone at all. So you who homeschool your children and you don't have to live in California because what happens in California? Well, we can look at California as the test case. It's coming to you. Some kind of regulation or legislation will be passed to allow government control over your children because we know that this is the direction that the country has been heading in. So I would suggest you homeschool children, you bring your children out into the community. You let everybody see those children. You know, it's interesting. Mainstream media, from my recollection, the articles that I've read about homeschool children, prior to this Turpin case that's being used as the pretext to pass this kind of legislation, those mainstream media articles, homeschool children outshine public schooled children, and what I can recall, they're more mature. They're more independent. They have better critical thinking skills and they're less likely to become bullies and less likely to be influenced by peer pressure. Public school children, well, are they being educated or are they being indoctrinated? Because we don't have education anymore. We have government indoctrination generation after generation. And that has really become very obvious with Common Core. That destroys individuality in children, destroys their critical thinking skills. You send a child into public school and you will have some professional telling the parent, your child is mentally ill, it's got ADHD, and that child will be put on drugs. The public school system has become abusive. It's become so abusive that I'm amazed that parents still send their children to that institution, to those indoctrination centers. So the LA Times, the solution is relatively easy. All you need to do is force contact with mandatory reporters. Force it upon parents. Um, 
The states could require annual assessments by a certified teacher and annual doctor visits, creating at least two opportunities for a trained professional to recognize abuse. Yes, you parents who homeschool, you don't bring your children to doctors. So that's got to be mandated upon you. Are you kidding me? Abuse in homeschool settings is all too common. All right, I'm going to... Uh, if abuse in homeschool um, homes was all too common, then we would have the World Health Organization listing homeschooling as a risk factor. We would have our government agencies, including homeschooling as a risk factor. We would have the APA listing homeschooling as a risk factor, but we don't. We just have the LA Times saying it. Uh, child abuse of public school, private school, and homeschool students. Evidence, philosophy, and reason. And I will link below to everything, but uh, very, very hard to find any kind of data that compares homeschool children with public school, private school, Catholic school children. So where are they getting their statistics from? All right, this study, this review of studies, it reviews available empirical evidence related to abuse rates of public school, private school, and homeschool students. It finds the term homeschool abuse is a misconstruction of evidence, shows that the estimated 10% or more of public and private school children experience sexual mal maltreatment at the hands of school personnel, and in addition, some school children are abused by their parents. Limited evidence available shows that homeschool children are abused at a lower rate than are those in the general public, and no evidence shows that the home educated are at any risk or higher risk of abuse. And this was posted January 23rd, 2018. United States State and Local Child Protective Services under the federal umbrella CPS estimated that 686 thousand children were victims of maltreatment in 2012. 46.7% were preschool age children. 1,640 children died from child maltreatment and of the fatalities 84.8% occurred among preschool age children. Why are they citing a 2012 2012 statistics because we don't have any statistics there might be reports now remembering my research 2014 but the updates that our government um, collects on data in virtually every um, area every category, you will find that their updates lag years behind. So as of September 2017, the United States Department of Justice was still relying on research from before 2004. And that research showed that school employee sexual misconduct, the sexual abuse and misconduct of K through 12 students by school employees, is estimated to affect 10% of our nation's students. And, well, if they're relying on reports before 2004, 2004 might have shown higher incidences, a percentage higher than 10%. And certainly, going along the years, that percentage may have increased, but we don't know that, right? So, there's a reason for that. They want to keep the percentage low. So, 
everybody believes that public school is relatively safe to send your children to. But the data that they collect does not include the physical or psychological abuse of students by school personnel, only sexual abuse. Okay, so we don't know about the physical and the psychological abuse. And um, what I said before, the 5% of all children who have been abused or neglected, it's just 5%. That, they're, that that's the working number. The reported incidences. An extremely small portion of sexual misconduct acts by school personnel that are known by school personnel are ever reported to the proper government agencies. Well, listen to this. Public school operates like Catholic, like the Catholic Church. Collective bargaining clauses often allow for scrubbing of personnel files so no record is left once an offender leaves the system. No criminal conviction, criminal conviction, or disciplinary record. Predators can obtain new jobs and move on to other victims. A teacher offender will pass through three different districts before being stopped, and one offender can have as many as 73 victims. Reports relevant to whether the abuse of public school and private school children happens at a lower, similar, or higher rate than for home school children. Okay, they cite three, only three, because the data is simply not available. So where are they getting these statistics from if the data is so scanty. All right, the first study, the purpose of the study was to calculate and compare rates of child fatality, fatality due to abuse or neglect in the general population and in the homeschool population, and then address whether increasing government regulations on homeschoolers might be connected to reducing child fatality rates. And I will tell you, it is not but what did that study find? It found in families where people were legally homeschooling, there was a significantly lower incidence of child fatalities due to child abuse or child neglect. Significantly lower in homeschooled uh, children. The second study found those who had been home educated were significantly less likely to have been sexually abused as minors than those who were in public school, who, who were public schooled, and those who attended private Christian schools. And a published article that utilized public data found no statistically significant difference between the general public and home school fatality rates. So, I will say that once again, our mainstream media is proving to be a propaganda arm for our government. That's all it is. But it is very disturbing to see these kinds of articles that suggest that parents who homeschool, well, you're now a presumptive abuser. And yeah, well, anybody who wants to be free from government now needs to be shamed. You need to be disgraced. You need to be brought down because you're just not going along to get along. But for every parent who homeschools, and every parent who loves their child, and every parent who is kind and gentle and healthy, I thank you because your job is by far the most important job on this planet in parenting, your parenting. You make or break societies. If we had 
a majority of parents who parented well and set their children on a healthy trajectory to become healthy adults physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, we would not be living this nightmare. It's all connected. So for every parent who has been able to produce a healthy adult, you have contributed greatly to the solution to our problems and I thank you for it. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of you. But I do believe that where you could find probably a majority of the healthy parents are the ones that homeschool. They see sending their children to the public school as damaging. So they're protecting their children. These are not reflective of parents who homeschool. These people right here. They are absolutely representative of an awful lot of adults who are so sick and they got that sickness, yeah, from their own upbringing. They became sick adults passing along much of what was taught to them. Deranged human beings. I'll link below to everything and I hope I hope you uh, homeschool parents fight like hell to keep CPS out of your homes.